Hi, my name is Neil Zhao, and I'm from Analog Devices Industrial Sensing Technology Group. And in this video, we will discuss the frequently used operating modes of the ultra low power high G accelerometer ADXL372. The ADXL372 is designed for the impact and shock detection with the extremely low power consumption. As the ADXL372 is pin to pin compatible with the industry leading, Ultra low power low J accelerometer ADXL362, we can reuse the ADXL362 satellite board to evaluate the ADXL372. The ADXL372 instant time mode is an innovation mode that continuously monitors the environment impact event in analog domain with a built in comparator. In the demo, we can see when the acceleration is lower than the built-in threshold, there is no digitized acceleration output, and the power consumption is lower than 2 microamp. When we add a shock event on the board to make the acceleration exceed the built-in threshold, like this, the ADXL372 switches into full bandwidth measurement mode immediately and can capture the impact profile. The built-in threshold is either 10G to 15G or 30G to 40G. It can be chosen by using instant on threshold bit. If we want to use the other threshold and still monitor the vibration and shock event with just several microamp, the auto sleep mode can be used. For example, set the activity threshold to 2G, then when there is no acceleration over the threshold, the ADXL372 will work in wake-up mode, and wake-up to sample the acceleration very specified time. The wake-up rate can be chosen according to different application scenarios. Once I shake the bar to generate the sustained motion, the ADXL372 will recognize the activity event and switch into full bandwidth measurement mode automatically. Then, if I keep the board stable for more than the specified time, the ADXL372 will return to wake up mode automatically. When the application is not only interested in the impact profile, but also the continuous acceleration change before the impact event, then full bandwidth measurement mode plus the trigger mode FIFO can be used. With such configuration, the processor can be kept in sleep mode before the impact event. Once the impact is detected, the ADXL372 will save the acceleration surrounding the trigger event automatically and give an interrupt to processor. The ADXL372 can save as many as 170 sample size of concurrent 3-axis data before the trigger event. To make sure nothing was missed before the impact event, even when the processor is in sleep mode. In the full bandwidth measurement mode, the power consumption depends on the different output data rate and the different power supply. From the demo, we can find out with the typical 2.5 volts supply, when output data rate is 3.2 kHz, the output current is around 20 microamp. When I lower the output data rate to 400 Hz, the ADXL372 power consumption is just around 10 microamp. This is a brief introduction about the frequently used operating mode of the ADXL372. For more information, please go to analog.com slash ADXL372.